Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to the Back by Channel TV. A little walk around a football pitch today. And for you regular old school viewers, we'll know that on this pitch is where we hammered Newcastle fans TV quite a few years ago now. When was that? 2018, 2018. Obviously, we beat them last year as well. Get that in there on the uh, rooftop pitch. Not sure if they want to trilogy this summer. Johnny and the boys, let us know. Do you know what I mean? You've got to get walloped again. <laughs> Spank them up every time. But uh, this was the first ever one a good few years ago now on this pitch. Great park. This wasn't even here last time. This unreal estate. Unfortunately, I am not living here yet. Expensive houses around here. I've got balconies and everything. I like it. Anyways, I keg scored a screamer in that, in that bottom corner. Spanked them. Use on the. The video is still up. It'll be on the old channel. The Magpie Channel versus Newcastle Fans TV. The charity match a few years ago for the Boy Robinson's Foundation. Great day out. Funny enough, the weather was glorious then as well. Anyways, I just thought when I was coming past, I thought I'd stop, do the video here because obviously I'm due to do one because there's been some big news today. Big, big news. A couple of topics actually. We've got Newcastle's first pre-season friendly to talk about as well. One or two other things, but we've got to start with the retained list. Newcastle United have announced their squad list for the 23-24 campaign. And it has, of course, divided opinion online. Now we'll start. We'll start with the title, which is Newcastle have released a local hero. A hero. Uh, you tell you what, he was a hero at the time scoring against Man United and a hero for a good few games in playing very well and contributing to us staying up in those dark, dark days. Hero, probably not, no. But local lad, local hero, whatever it is, you know what I mean? We have released Matty Longstaff. He is now gone from Newcastle United. The youngster. Oh, man, the Jordy is gone. I'm gutted for him. Absolutely gutted for Matty Longstaff. With his injury... It was it was it was necessary. It had to happen. Unfortunately for him, there was no way around that. There was no way he was going to stay. He was never going to get a game. He's been on a couple of loan spells that just haven't worked out as well. It's such a crying shame. From when he burst onto the scene, scoring those goals, the way he was playing in midfield, obviously the confidence in that helped. But to come into the team and play that well in the Premier League, and to then now get released and, and not even. Do well on these loan spells that he's had, like in Scotland and that. Oh, it's such a shame for him, man. And I tell you what, he's been so unlucky with injuries as well. Um, he's obviously got a bow one at the minute. The club are going to allow him to keep using the facilities until he has sorted that out. So it's not like the olden days where if, I think if Mike Ashley and that had it released him, he would have been booted out and banned from the premises. He would have had to sign up to JD Gyms, 15 quid a month, PR gym business. You know what I mean? 20 quid direct debit. He doesn't have to do that. We're letting him stay and use the facilities. So, Matty Longstaff, like I say, I'm really gutted for him, like, because he's, he's a sound lad. Obviously, I met him when I was out in Malia for the summer, and he was there, and we had some good, good crack. And you know, he's a sound lad, and he was a good player, man. It's just a shame that you need, you need looking life, and you definitely need looking football. You just didn't have that, that bounce that you need, that bit of momentum. Then you get setback after setback, and things just don't work out. But hopefully, it's not the end of the road for him, like, in terms of his career. He's got to go out to hopefully get to move to a championship or League One club, surely, at least League One. Um, and then can bounce back and, and revive his career because there is obviously a player in there. We've seen that. We've seen it against Manchester United that there was a player in there. But like I say, I'm devastated for him. But at the same time, he has lived every Geordie's dream. <laughs> Not many people can say they scored the winner at the Gallagher against Manchester United. So fair play to him. At least he's got that memory. Let's just hope it doesn't stop with that and he can kick on and still have a, a decent career. Now, will he play for Newcastle again? No. Very unlikely. Will he play in the Premier League again? Even that's unlikely, to be honest. Well, you never know. He could rise up the ranks. I mean, look at Luton Town now. Um, them, their players that are playing for them. So, maybe. But all the best to Matty. He has been released by the club. Let us know what you would have done in his situation for him. The other one is Kieran Clark. Best thing Kieran Clark did was get sent off against Norwich, allowing J9 to turn into J7. That was the best thing he ever did. <laughs> nah, to be fair, I think Clark was Irish for us, you know. He was, yeah, you know, pennies, came in for pennies. He was a solid enough player. I don't have anything against Kieran Clark. I think uh, he's he's been a good servant of the club. He was versatile. He could play in different positions. He helped out in some, in, the, in those crap, crap days as well. So for where we were at that time, I think Kieran Clark was all right. Um, but definitely time to move him on. He was never going to get a game for us now. Let's have a nice little sit on this bench. Oh, yes. 
Oh, yes. Ooh. So uh, it was definitely time to move him on. Um, so I'm pleased about that. And good luck to Kieran Clark as well. Um, he was never going to get a game again for Newcastle. Look at Jamal Lassell as the club captain. Can't even get a game. So Clark's time is over. And obviously he's the wrong side of 30 in that now. But uh, all the best to Kieran Clark. I think that was a no-brainer. And then the other surprising one for someone who was also on the wrong side of 30 is Scottish Matt Ritchie. Gordon Ramsay is getting another year. We have activated a year extra on Matt Ritchie's contract. Well, I'm in two, two minds about this one. Like For me, I would rather have seen him go and replace him. But on the other hand, I can understand why the club have kept him. It's easier to do it this way. Um, then find a replacement and obviously we know Richie's not going to be in the start 11 I hope he's not even on the bench to be honest with you I hope we've just kept him because I know Eddie Howe loves what he brings to the squad in terms of his leadership and his personality in the dressing room and I think that can also be priceless so that in a way is worth keeping him around um, obviously for the amount of fixtures we're going to have let's play Richie in the FA Cup why not let's play Richie once we've got through the group stages in the Champions League once we've uh, secured that last game of the group stage you can play against Roma or something. You know, you can do that. But uh, Richie, I would have thought his time was probably going to be up. He was tipped to go back down south to Bournemouth. He was meant to be fancying a move back down there. But he's obviously happy to stay. And I tell you what, he's been a brilliant servant for Newcastle because he's scored some big goals over the years. Uh, the winners against like Arsenal, Manchester United. And I like Richie. I really like his, his character, his personality, his, his passion, his craziness with that passion. Um... But he's brought a lot of Newcastle over the years and I've got nothing but respect for Matt Ritchie. I'm a big fan of his. Uh, he's a proper grafter. So, I gotta tell you what, I'm pleased to see Ritchie stay on, I suppose. And he can be a, a good squad player and a, more important, a good presence in the dressing room. And Newcastle United have also activated Dan Bain. A contract extension on Dan Bain. So he's now staying until 2025. As well as the luckiest bloke in the world, Mark Gillespie. Mark Gillespie with a one-year extension as well. This bloke, honestly, he is living the dream. He's a local lad. He's probably on 25, 30k a week. Doing absolutely nout. I mean, like, sign me up. He's doing what I'm doing right now. Sitting on a bench. He's lucky if he even gets on the bench. He sits at home most weeks watching the game on, on dodgy streams. Do you know what I mean? Doesn't even have to travel. Oh, what a job Mark Lesby's got. Being in around the team. Local lad. Training every day with these ballers. Training with Bruno, training with Isaac, and then just going home chilling all day, picking up 30 grand a week for it. What? A, oh, honestly, that is up there with one of the best deals <laughs> that a man could ask for in the universe. I'm telling you, what? Oh. But it, it makes sense because he he's one of the homegrown players. Um, and yeah, he can just do a job in the background. I'm sure he's, he's good at the old training drills and that, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's an easy one, isn't it? It's an easy one that in case of a crisis he's there or whatever. It, I mean, keeping Mark Gillespie, it's not going to impact anything, is it? We're never going to see him play. And uh, fair play to him. Well done, mate. <laughs> like I said, a local lad. But again, it's. I think it's crucial that Newcastle keep local lads in the dressing room now. Now that we've been taken over, it's not about just shipping in all the um, the beautiful Brazilian exports and the the uh, Botmans of this world. And, you know, we, you've got to keep that that identity in the dressing room for me I think it's very important for them to understand what it means to pay, play for this club and obviously Eddie Howe being English and you've got Graham Jones in there from Gator Graham Gator Graham can tell them what the crack is but you know we're keeping them in there we're keeping things in the region let them know what it means to the Geordies so it's good to have the likes of Gillespie in there for me as much as I've took the piss I think it's sound having a Geordie in the dressing room there um, and you know he looks like he, he's got a bit of crack about him I'm sure he's, he brings that to the dressing room so Good for team spirit. Tell you what, I knew growing up. Should have should have stayed in goal. Shouldn't have tried to be the striker. Should have stayed in goal. I could have been doing up Mark Gillespie. And finally, and finally, Newcastle United have offered new contracts to Paul Dummett and Loris Carrius. Both are yet to sign. I'm pretty 101% sure that Paul Dummett will surely sign his new deal. I could see everything I've just said about Gillespie for Dummett in the sense that he's not going to play now. Over the years, yeah, he's been here for, what was it, over a decade now or something, Paul Dummett. He's had some great moments in the Newcastle shirt. He's been a solid servant. He's played some big games. He can play in different positions. Again, he's probably all right for cup competitions and stuff, squad rotation with the amount of games we're going to have now that we're in Europe. Um, so Dummett, 
for me, I would have released him like I, I can't see the point in, in being Yan now, um, and I'd want to improve on it a bit. But it's easy; it's homegrown, whatever. And then, like I say, Carius has been offered a new deal. It's unsure whether he'll sign that because he apparently wants more first team football, which I respect. I admire that that he wants minutes because he is still a good keeper. Look, I think in the Carabao Cup final he did a good job, good enough considering how long he was out for. He's shown in the past for a club and country Liverpool and that. Apart from obviously those dodgy moments, that he is decent. I think Carrius could get it, could go to Norwich or something. Carrius could go to um, Sheffield United or Burnley or something. You know, a newly promoted Premier League say one down there. I think Carrius could do a job, so I wouldn't be surprised if he did leave. But if he's if his birds liking it here yeah, and he's settled and everything, and he wants, he thinks, well, maybe if someone gets injured, I could play in the Champions League. Fair play. Let's see what he does. But um, I'm happy with that decision. And finally, 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 the last topic is the first pre-season friendly has been announced now we know we're going to rangers on the 18th of july buzzing for that trip we are then going to america the week after before all that we're taking the long long journey to gateshead stadium gateshead international stadium for the two normie how's that for your first away day of the campaign quality stuff me and the boys me dan bain julian will all be on the metro straight over the blue bridge and that Gateshead Stadium for that one. Looking forward to it. I heard loads of people were struggling to get tickets. I know it has now sold out. They put them on Gateshead's website, which was probably a bit of a blunder considering uh, that website was crashing due to unbelievable high demands compared to usual. <laughs> you've got about 40,000 Geordies on there trying to get tickets when normally you've got about 40 Gateshead fans trying to get tickets. So their system obviously crashed. If people were struggling. People were, the website was crashing. People couldn't get it. Uh, the tickets in time and it is sold out now when I went on I got mine fine got a couple of fine no bother so that's in the bag looking forward to that one and that'll be the first time we'll see potentially some new signings will Madison be wrapped up by July 15th that is the date for the game Saturday July 15th it is a 12.50 kickoff. will any other new signings be in black and white at Gated or in the away strip because Gated play in that black and white style top last year as well so looking forward to that one really looking forward to pre-season and the new season getting underway. Long may this glorious weather continue. And uh, I'm sure there'll be more transfer rumours every second of every day, really. Because the amount of players we're getting linked to. But none of that on this video. There's an update on the squad list. On some pre-season news. Drop your comments below what you think of the, of the squad list. Who's been kept, who's been let go. Subscribe to the Mike channel TV. And enjoy yourself.